Good morning everyone, hope you're all well and welcome back to Mr Bravo's workbench. Off to a bit of a late start this morning, it is 20 to 8. I've got the early morning coffee going. Um, I just want to make something a little bit clear. So the other day, two episodes ago, I made reference of this submarine, which I called it a V2. I've recently discovered it is a that it is a 7B U-boat, U-boat. Uh, and it's a German U-boat. Now, the other day I kind of uh, said, you know, how can this be one three pretty scale? I've done some research and I'm going to have to pull back my words because apparently this is true. This only carried about 10 men. And when you consider the doors on here and the size of this, it's only going to carry about 10 men. So this is like trying to... Uh, trying to get a toothpick in the ocean, I mean, compared to everything else. I mean, when I put the other subs up against this, you know, any wonder this thing was so good in, in the um, in the wars and stuff. It's too, it's tiny. Anyway, I just thought I'd clear that up and I would uh, swallow my words. Um, I still don't like how small it is, but that is a true scale apparently. So, yeah, I'm going to move on from that. Okay, last night, as I said would be in the last episode I uh, fix up all the chains and everything um, now last also last night while I was here I was having a very good look and a detailed look at the ship uh, let's get that the right way around that is the right way around so what I decided to do is I'm going to cut up some some tape because there's lots of stuff on this ship such as all of here can be light the torrents, are, uh, the guns are mostly all the grey except for one back here. Um, the three guns on either side, two are the light colour and two are the dark colour. So this side of the dark and one the light. And the opposite side, it's one the dark, two the light. So basically the hull looks good, I'm sure you'll agree. I just, I've got to give quite a few more coats on the floor. I'm not happy with the floor. And then the whole point of this video is to sort of say, right, we're going to start painting the superstructure. How are we going to paint it? This section here on the plan itself, it, it's only two colours. It is the dark grey or the darker colour and the lighter colour. So pieces like this, I'm probably going to paint light because on the flip side, here it is on the other side. It's more light than it is dark. So I'm going to paint this one all light. So that's easy. The main structure on this side is nearly all light. So that's kind of easy too. We can paint nearly all of this side all light. And then we'll take it off. Let's flip it over. On this side, it's a little different. It's like, well... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually thinking I might spray this side all dark and kind of somewhere in the middle match it all in. Um, and if this side is all dark, then this will need some light. So I might do all the dark first, cover up what I don't want, and then spray the rest light. And then it's got very, very little grey just up here. Uh, so that's how I think I'm going to tackle that for the best part. I was thinking about this last night when I was doing this. If I was to do this ship again, I mean, I kept this piece off, which makes my life a whole lot easier for painting because this section is more light and a bit of dark, uh, sorry, a bit of grey. So I can paint this almost completely separate and get away with it. If I knew this, I would probably take this one off and spray all the bottom, spray this one separately because there's, there's not much difference in this one either. But... I do have this floor off and it, it comes off and on pretty easily and goes together. So that's how we're going to do those two pieces. Now, the mid structure is the majority on this side all grey. I know it's all grey across the front. Um, 
there's a little bit of grey up top on the flu and everything, but majority of grey, and then down here, we had the dark grey, which I might just uh, brush in, I think. Um, and it kind of goes across here, it goes across two windows. Uh, I'll, we'll see on that one. Now, let's flip it over. Yeah, this one's a little tough because this side is mostly all light with a little bit of grey here. So I'm going to say all light through here, all the way through the front. We already know the back side is all grey, the middle grey. And go on back this way, so that's middle grey through there and middle grey through here so if i spray the front from there this way the light actually probably even half probably probably from there back because the ship has grey through here yeah so from here through to here this section kind of the light color and then maybe the rest of this all grey and then we can come back and mask off where we want the dark. So that's kind of like where we're at now. We're at a lot, a lot of painting. So in this episode, what I'm going to do is I've just explained it. Um, I'm going to take all these pieces off. As I said yesterday, I've done all the chains. I think this, this whole section needs a whole lot more work. So I'll come back and do those and I'll show them one at a time as I do them. So this is what this video is going to be, more about painting the rest of these. Now, I just want to mention one more thing last night. I tried to dry fit this, and I had a hell of a time dry fitting it. And I came to the conclusion that the only way you're going to get this to dry fit properly is before it actually goes onto the ship. I mean, I've got to put a lot of pressure on that to hold it. And pushing down the ship... I just don't think it's going to work. So I'm going to have to probably build it like this. So that makes things a little interesting. Anyway, I'll get back to the uh, to where I do the painting and um, we'll get cracking on this. So here I have all the pieces painted in the dark colour. Uh, I did a little bit reverse of what we did last time. Almost similar to what we did with the, the light colour. Uh, I decided to put most of the dark color on first to mark off to mask off what we want to keep and then basically paint the rest. So with this one here, uh, we want to keep most of this and some of the bottom of the floor. So if I now move you to this angle here, what we want to do, is we want to carry this line up onto here a little bit. Uh, I've got you almost in line with the ship so that when we're down here and not this way, not this way, but in line, we can carry this line forward. So what do we have here? We have if we carry this line now, above here, above past these ports here, we should be pretty right. Uh, almost to, to here. Okay. So we want to kind of travel this line up. There's the ship. So we need to travel the line up almost to this line here and then start to bring it back around to the ship. So there's the first sticker on which is basically going to protect the dark colour and we'll just carry that line straight up onto the ship. I mean it'll need a little bit more pushing down the edges but you can see where we're going with this as far as 
you know, trying to keep the lines dead on. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all well. It is 4.55, no, 4.45 this morning. Uh, very early at it. Um, I've got quite a few things to do today, so I'm getting an early start. And one of them is to repair the window that I broke yesterday with my scooter. Anyway, that's another story. Uh, so last night, in the last episode, actually it's still going to be this episode, because I've got to finish off the last video, which I haven't done yet. Uh, so I started putting the stickers on, and, well, I got a fair way into it. So the last one we seen was this one here, which carried all the way through the deck, and I got it just above the drawing here, so you can see see what's going on. Um, flipping it over, we've kept the floor. We don't want to keep this colour. We want to keep this one darker. So to protect the floor, I've got plenty of tape down, and this was just many, many tiny strips of you know a couple of mil maybe three mil tape and a few odd shapes and just kept piling it on uh the nose we want to keep and if we bring it around and i'll swap this page over that way we are now here on the drawing so we want to keep this shape here and bring the yellow or the lighter color. I'm going to call it yellow. It's not really yellow though. It's like a yellowy green. Um, so that's going to come up through there. Also, uh, so we're trying to keep the floor uh, up the top. Same thing. I'm trying to keep the floors protected. Uh, this thing is covered in tape. Um, and on the drawing, we have bit of grey down the back here we have grey up the top and on this floor and also underneath here so what I'm thinking is I'm going to do the complete reversal of the hull and I'm going to spray the grey next so I can mask that off and the last one will actually be the lighter colour uh, and I think there's going to be quite a few leaks in this so I think when I spray this I'm going to spray it right back uh, and probably a lot more dust coating so we don't get any or try and lessen some of the some of the leaks some of it you just can't help it's that tiny um, so under the bottom here there's we have to go and this is the reason and this is the reason why I'm doing it is we've got gray almost where are we we are from the middle of the turret coming down pretty much touching the bottom of the ship over here bring it over that's that gray we got to pick up actually that's the dark gray ah, that's the wrong side that's why so there is the sh there's the ship and the structure on there in its correct position so we got to kind of pick up yeah, most of that floor, as in all grey down the bottom, to pick up this colour here off the ship. So it'll kind of match in. And then there's obviously the tip of this will be the darker colour. And I think that one there will just come back and hit. Actually, we don't have to hit it. We can just put a, another sticker on it. Okay, so I'll just put a sticker on that one. And, uh, yeah, you, you can see where we're going with this. On the actual picture... So on the drawing, we've got a little bit of grey in here. So I'll do that. Oh yeah, there it is there. I, forgot, I didn't see that before. So we've got to pick that up and come around. That could be a part of the next one. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad I gave you that angle because I just spotted it myself. Um, so if I coming back to this, we've got most of it covered. That's too close. I'll come out. So I'll come through, I'll put another sticker through here to keep that. And then pretty much the rest of this is going to be grey on this side. Uh, a bit more the actual grey up top and then we'll come through later on the light colour. Uh, and the light colour will be, we'll just mask the rest of it up. 
and go crazy. And I, I always knew all along this was going to be like this. I mean, this looks like a mess, but this is what you have to do. So now, because I started some of this yesterday, and I already know I got quite a bit of uh, footage already, I'm probably going to have to finish this one here, and we will do this one on the next one. All right. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I hope you uh, hope you um, hope you can understand what I've done here. Uh, caught you up with it, and um, yeah, catch you on the next episode. Thanks. Bye.